That is an Audi R8 over there in white. All right, so as I'm walking down this parking garage, I would like to tell you guys some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that this is the last episode of corresponding in downtown Melbourne slash Melbourne Beach, Florida. And that is because just a couple of days from today, I will be driving down to my parents' condo in Fort Myers. And then a few days after that, well, the reason why I'm uh, driving down to the condo is because my parents will be uh, flying down from Ohio to come and visit the condo. This is the area for a few days and then um, the day after my dad flies back up to uh, Columbus my mom and I are going to be driving back with my Civic back up to Columbus, Ohio there's a motorcycle right there so yep my mom and I are going to be driving back up to Columbus, Ohio, all the way from down here in Florida for the summer. And then I plan on driving back down here with my mom, probably, also, in August for next school year in the fall. So yeah, here's where I'm parked today. So that's the bad news. The good news is, however, this will not be the last episode of car spotting. Not even close. Because while I'm actually in Fort Myers, I'm planning on getting one, maybe two, car spotting episodes down in that area. Uh, one of them's going to be uh, in this um, shopping center, I guess you can say. Uh, it's really fancy. I've been to it once before and yeah, it's Very uh, fancy if that makes sense There's a lot of like fancy slash exotic cars Over there from what I've seen kind of like with Beverly Hills So yeah, I'm planning on going car spotting there and then I might also see about going car spotting in downtown Naples, Florida as well. I might drive over there and see if, if there's any cool cars in that area and if so I'll might see about getting a video there too as well. Alright. This right here is an old school Mercury Grand Marquis SS. This looks to be from around the 1970s or so. Pretty cool. And then over here is a Jaguar XE X-Way Echo. And then right next to it is this Dodge Ram 1500 with some fairly nice looking tires. It also looks nice and clean as well. And, and this F-150 also looks nice and clean, although the tires aren't quite as cool looking, in my opinion. Over there is a Lexus ES350. And then down over here is a Lincoln Town Car. 
their variant of the Ford Crown Victoria. Right there is a Toyota RAV4 Hybrid, and I believe that is the exact same car we've seen in a previous episode. Mercedes C300, Audi A3, Chevy Volt. Huh, this 1500 also has some very nice looking tires. BMW 3 Series. Volvo S60. Audi Q7. And another 3 Series. Fiat 500X, it looks like. Cadillac Escalade from two generations ago. Chrysler 300, an older one. Hummer H3. And an Audi A5 convertible. Over here we have a Mercedes E300, an Audi Q5, Volkswagen Atlas SC with the V6, Cross Sport. And over here is a Ford Edge ST. Pirelli tires, probably stock, looks nice and clean. And right there is a Mercedes GLE. From, oh no, it's an M-Class. It's from New Jersey and it's all-wheel drive. I couldn't tell by just looking at the front. I usually identify the M-Class and the uh, the original GLE before the new one by the uh, design of the taillights. There goes a Mercedes S550 W221. There goes a Cadillac ATS Coupe. Mercedes GLC 300 Coupe. There goes Buzz 1550. Thomas Safety Liner C2. There's a BMW i3 waiting to turn right. Chrysler. Ah, uh, shoot, what's that? Model vehicle called again. It's a convertible. Cruiser, that's right. PT Cruiser. Chrysler PT Cruiser convertible. There's a four-door Wrangler to the right of it. And that, I think, might be a Toyota Avalon. It's a hybrid. Yep, Avalon hybrid. Cadillac XTS. BMW 3 Series station wagon. Oh, and there's that Toxicity Jeep Wrangler we saw just a few episodes ago. Acura TL. There goes an Audi A7. Penske box truck. GMC chassis. Light duty. Brand new 2021 Chevy Tahoe.
Continental tires. Ooh, what's this? V8 by Turbo. Might be an AMG GT. Oh no, it's an AMG SL63. Nice life as a license plate. Motorcycle. Cadillac CTS. Lincoln Navigator from two generations ago. Mercedes E300. Tesla Model S P85. Audi A8 L. Cadillac CTS Coupe with no door handles. Lexus GS. Bridgestone tires on the A8. And a Porsche Macan. Right here is a Cadillac DTS Delta Tango Sierra. Jeep Wangle Sahara Edition, four door. Fairly nice looking tires. Lexus ES350. Subaru WRZ Impreza. BMW 3 Series. There goes a Honda Civic Type R in orange. I believe that is the exact same car we've seen in a previous episode. Right here, we have another BMW 3 Series. A Braith, a Broth. Looks like it's just a rebranded Fiat. Scion XB, X-Ray Bravo. Ford Fusion Hybrid, SC. Mazda MX-5 convertible, looks like. Audi A4. Cadillac Escalade EXT, last generation. Two-door Wrangler, an older one. That looks like an older Volvo XC70. Four series sedan, Q5. Another A4. There's a red BMW coupe back there behind the hunt. Uh, Hyundai Might be a uh, one series coupe possibly Ah, it's debadged GLE 350 previous generation Cadillac XT6 I believe if I saw that correctly CTS, Audi S3 in blue. If it wasn't an XT6, then it was probably an XT7. Motorcycle. Camaro RS, two generations ago. Deep Batch Cadillac, I think it's another uh, Actually, I think it's an XTS. Yeah, I'd say it's an XTS. 
Mercedes GLK 350, Lexus LX 570, top of the line Lexus SUV. Oh, no school bus. Thomas State 200 C2. AMG C43, either that or 63 coupe. Cadillac SRX. Bus 18315. I think I remember that number actually from a previous episode. Classic Mustang. And there goes a new GLE 350, all wheel drive in a nice blue color. There's a GLC in white. A couple of motorcycles. All right. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head on over this way. Over there is an older Range Rover Sport. And then up here is a Kia Soul in a rare yellow color. PT Cruiser convertible parked right in front of it. Over there is a Dodge Charger RT in blue and a Jeep Renegade in green. Two other, two more rare colors, I'd say, at least for the respective car models. Mini Cooper. Audi A6. BMW 3 Series across the street. And then right there is an older two-door Jeep Wrangler in yellow. Nice looking tires. Oh, the uh, spare tire is missing in the back. Ford Super Duty. Not bad tires in this one either. F-250, looks pretty clean. Scion X-Way Delta. Scion Foxtrot Romeo Sierra. And Mercedes C250. There's a coach bus, motor coach, Route 21. Another Toyota Solara convertible. This one is in red. It's got Pirelli tires. And that right there is a Volkswagen Golf GTI. And it's got some cool looking dark golden wheels it looks like. I think I might actually remember spotting this car in a previous episode or two. UPS truck. Behind the fence is a Tesla Model Y dual motor. Audi A3, Ford Edge Titanium, 
Dodge Challenger in blue. Debadged Audi in purple looks like and it also looks like it has some customized slash modified wheels and a golden light color kind of similar to that Volkswagen Golf GTI we just saw and over there is some sort of Mercedes Cabriolet slash convertible in white can't quite see the model name from here Right here we have a classic slash old school Toyota Camry from I'd say around the 1980s or so. Chrysler Sebring convertible. There is a Mercury Trio. Tracer. Here we have a Honda CRZ hybrid. Toyota Venza over there, XLE. And then up here is an Audi A4 convertible, an older one. Automatic transmission. Bus 15235. This is a Subaru Forester Sport. All right, I'm probably gonna start heading back over to my car now. Over here is a Mercedes CLS 550 and an AMG S63 W221. I remember seeing the uh, S-Class in, I think, one or two previous episodes, although I'm not too sure about the CLS. Toyota Celica GT. It looks like it has a manual transmission. There's a Tesla Model 3 over there in black. Porsche Boxster S convertible Michelin tires automatic on this one. Tesla Model S 75D Ford Thunderbird convertible in orange. And over there is a Ford F750. That is the heaviest Super Duty one can buy. Another Audi A3. Lexus LS 460. I think we might have also seen this car in a few of the previous episodes. The Lexus. Mazda MX-5 convertible. And 
And right here is a debadged Mercedes Coupe AMG badge on the grill. It's got Continental tires. It's in an orange color. It's from Texas. Don's as the license plate. And that right there is a Cadillac SRX. Over there is a cool looking motorcycle in a teal color. Right here is a Mercedes E350. It's from New York and it's debadged, although you can still see the outlines from the badges. Formatic, so it has all-wheel drive. Current generation Ford Escape SC. Mini Cooper S. All right. Today's car spotting adventures has is just about to come to an end. So before I go, though. For all you elevator enthusiasts out there, I'm gonna take this elevator up to the fourth level of this parking garage where I parked my car. You can actually see the uh, outside of it from the doors. Quick little view. Alrighty. I will uh, start up the car for you guys real quick. Accessory, pull down the windows, turn this off for a second. My dash cam. All right, let's start her up. My car currently has 3,509 miles on the clock. All right. That's gonna be just about it. So yep, thank you guys all so much for watching this series. Hope you all enjoyed. And yep, we will catch you guys all in the next video. Bye bye.